My mom was um, born in 1929. Her name was Virginia Lee Schmitz Johnstone. And um, so she, most of her life, I think she considered herself to be fairly progressive. She worked for the Department of Biochemistry at the University of Illinois. She was an administrative assistant for Lowell Hager, who was the department head. So um, she was in contact with a lot of grad students. She did a lot of um, typing for grants and that sort of thing. So I think she kind of considered herself to be fairly worldly. So uh, in uh, around 1979, she would have been 50 or so years old. She was chosen to be on the jury for a murder trial. And what had happened, as far as anyone knew, was that um, this guy was found on a country road out in the middle of nowhere, completely naked, with his pants tied around his neck, and he had choked to death. And nearby, um, and I don't know the exact circumstances of how he was caught, but uh, someone who was associated with the victim was found. Um, he was charged with murder. And um, so my mom was chosen to be on the jury. So I don't know exactly how long the trial lasted or too much in the way of details. But um, what was determined was that, so, so the guy that was found dead was, was naked. So what was determined was that he was choked to death while his he was having sex with his with his gay lover. So at that time nobody really knew what autoerotic asphyxiation was. I don't think it was even really a thing. And um apparently it was determined that this guy was was suffocated because uh, they were attempting to shut off the, the blood and the, um, and the air supply to him to heighten his sexual um, experience while he and his, and his lover were having sex. So anyway, at some point, um, the judge decided that this was not a murder. This was uh, an accidental death and the and the guy was released and the trial was ended so um my mom of course think you know feeling like she was a progressive thinker had never heard of anything like this in terms of um you know something that people would do during sex and um and like i said i don't think the term autoerotic asphyxiation was even really um out there at that point um, but anyway, that's, that is essentially what happened to the guy. So my mom was almost giddy with this information that this was, um, this was a thing among certain, uh, gay people when they had sex. And, um, it was just kind of interesting to me that she, she, that she was so excited to know something that most people didn't know. And, um, anyway, like I said, the guy was released. It was ruled an accidental death. And, um, she just had this, this excitement though, that, um, that she had this information about the sort of, uh, unusual, unusual proclivity, um, in the gay community.